Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for taking a chance. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, today, I wanna talk about finding like your planning style if you wanna use stickers in your planner. Um, so if that sounds interesting, uh, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to keep it short um, while I plan my week. Um, so let's go, this is my Erin Condren Hourly, and this is the mid-century circles design from like previous seasons. Um, so this was um, last week, well really, um, as I'm filming it, it is, today is Friday, but you know, last week for you guys. Um, so what I wanna do is lay out these stickers and show you what I'm gonna use. So this is uh, collection 157 from Orange Umbrella Co. It's called Vintage Summer. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda lay out the stickers here and just give you like a quick overview. Um, I have a lot. I don't normally have this many stickers um, from a kit, but I loved this one so much um, that I got way more than I normally do. Um, I chose this kit because I really like these colors and I just like anything like retro and like old school. <laughs> so these are actually for like a monthly, like a dashboard. So I'm gonna set those aside. Um, more checklists. And these kind of go with the daily duo. Um, so I probably won't use these today, but I just wanted to show you I had them. Um, anyway, fun fact about me, I have two degrees in US history, um, and one of them, my master's degree, I specialized in, um, <clears throat> sorry, I specialized in cultural and social history from the late 20th century, so just, I don't know, stuff like this. I just, it's my jam, I like it. Um, so these stickers, I just real quick want to remind you that I am on the PR team for Orange Umbrella Co., which means that I get stickers that I pick out either free or at like a significant discount. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but being on the PR team means that I can offer a discount code. And if you use it, you also get my little freebie. So check the description for details on that. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I said we were gonna talk about finding your planning style um, with stickers in your, like if you wanna use stickers in your planning, like a good way to kind of get started is to use sampler sheets. A lot of shops will offer sampler sheets and you get like a good amount of like functionals and deco and icons and washi and stuff like that and some scripts and things you can use to kind of figure out what kind of stickers you like. And it's usually like a pretty cost effective way because you, you can plan your whole spread with these without anything else. Um, and then as you go, you might, find yourself like wanting more of this thinner washi or something like that and then you can figure out what sheets you want to buy going forward and then you can say okay well here's some a la carte sheets that the shop offers that has thin washi and then you can pick out stuff from there um so that's like my number one tip i guess it's two tips but it's just you know start with sampler sheets and shop at some sticker shops that have a la carte options so that you can customize your layout. So let's start here. Um, I This blue for July doesn't match this like at all. There's no dark blue in this kit. Like here's a good example of like the color or we can use this Daily Duo like solid headers. So these are like our color palette here and that, that navy blue I don't know, it's not gonna work for me. I don't usually like to um, cover that up, but I'm going to today just because it doesn't match. And what I'm gonna do, let me check my deco sheet. So I don't normally have all this deco, but I've been really trying to do deco lately. So is there some way that I can cover that without using that full box there? Yeah, so I didn't wanna lose the sidebar um, space here and so that's why I didn't want to use this full box because if I did it's not just like a design that I could cut down and then um, you know I'm gonna lose like three lines of space and I don't know if I even need that space but you know I just I want to have options you know so we've got this this is from the journaling deco sheet 
and it looks like you can't probably see this but I, like if I white out where it says 2022 I could probably put this pink one up here so let's try that and I'm gonna go ahead and white out July as well just because it is so dark um, let me let me do this just to make it easier on myself so um, a la carte sheets whoops a la carte sticker sheets are really really awesome when you're still trying to figure out what it is you want to do um, in your planner so um, yeah I definitely recommend shopping at shops that have that option instead of spending like $20 on a whole kit that you may or may not use um, now if you fall in love with a kit where you were a stickers you know if you fall in love with stickers that only come in a kit I mean that's not terrible or anything but if you don't end up using them all you can always um, save them for later uh, which is actually what I did here um, last week is this right and I had all these stickers left over I didn't even touch these sheets so like look I can make a whole other spread with this um, I just combined them all into one sheet so that's a good way so you can save them um, you can sell them there's tons of like buy sell trade groups um, you can swap them or send them to a friend and so like that's what I did here now this is my monthly the stickers left over from my monthly spread um, I took the ones that I know I could make use of and put them in my reusable album and then I combined everything else I wasn't going to use on here and I can just you know tuck this in a little care package that I'm sending to a planner friend and I'm sure they can get some more life especially out of that washi and these checklists and things so Anyway, let's get on with the plan with me. So, um, this, I want to cover up this whiteout spot with like a little cute piece of deco. And I was looking at this pineapple, but I just used a pineapple over there last week. And so I kind of feel like maybe I should switch it up. And I think I'm going to use this roller skate um, because it's cute. It's also pink and so it kind of blends in. So I'm wondering if I should try to figure out how to layer because I'm so not good at layering, um, but I really, I've been trying hard to give like deco and layering a shot. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess it works. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so um, let's go with now, let's go with the, um, these are the, um, sh they're not strip headers, they're the letters for these are for the vertical planner, I believe. I can't remember. Um, I was planning in a vertical before, and then I got the hourly, and so some of my stuff, I think the hourly is a strip. Um, I don't know if I wanna use these. I'm not sure. Um, I, I know I need to cover that up, and so I think I'm gonna lay the washi down, but I need to figure out which washi because we have tons of it to choose from. I'm thinking I want to do this dark orange and then I probably won't have to white out that bold um, navy blue line. So um, I'm going to put it here so I can see. And we're just going to start here and then I'll figure out. Since I'm covering it, I guess I do need to use um, the headers. If, if it matches, I want to, like I try to use um, the printed on, um, I'm just going to use this to cut instead of a slice tool. Um, I try to just go ahead and keep the, um, the printed stuff. Um, I don't see the need to cover everything up and that's part of like finding your style. Um, just because stickers exist doesn't mean you need to use them unless you like love them, right? And so I don't like love the look of headers unless it just, I don't know, and it, it just depends on like how I'm feeling that week, I guess. And so, um, yeah, but in this case, I am gonna use them because 
I just covered them up with washi because it doesn't match, right? So um, I should have put um, my date dots down um, ahead of time, but um, I didn't know if I was gonna use these headers or not, so sorry, I'm gonna fast forward through this. on I realized I forgot all about the fact that I usually keep all my extra date dots in here so that I can use them up and um, I completely forgot but that's okay because I didn't have a whole lot of time okay so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the like 6 a.m. spot because I don't have a lot um, going on and actually maybe I'll layer it slightly. Let's see how Monday looks and then we'll decide. Since these aren't full on, um, these are meant for the vertical and so they're only one and a half inches and the hourly columns are slightly wider. Um, and so they're not gonna fill up that whole thing. So I'm gonna do one this way and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one here and one layered so I can see which one I like better. And since these are repositionable, I can just fix the one I don't prefer. And I think I'm gonna go with this here. So let me use my little spatula here to pull this up. And then I can just go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the rest of these down. So as I'm using these um, vertical headers, that kind of reminds me of another tip, is don't be afraid to try stickers that are not made for your specific planner. Um, there's so many different planners out there and so many different like sticker kit formats that especially with shops that have these a la carte stickers, you can totally use these however you want them. So. Um, one way that I like to use these, um, and I do have another one because of that reason, is I like to take in my daily duo and make my own like week at a glance, and these are perfect for that. So that's not made for a, you know, a daily duo is obviously a daily planner, and these are weekly headers for a vertical, and so, you know, that's just one way you can kind of figure out how to make stickers work for you. Okay, so let's get some, um, events down and I'm gonna flip to my monthly here and look at um, um, I've got videos going up I've got um, my son's got his tennis camp from Tuesday to Friday and we need to pay for that we'll send him money with him and then we've got um, Disney Plus coming out this I'm not gonna put because it's already done um, it was just I needed to, it was a reminder for points that were gonna expire and then um, we've got the um, Austrian Grand Prix. So not much going on, um, which is good. That's the way I like it. And so we just kind of need to decide now what, um, what functional stickers we want to use and have tons to choose from. I'm gonna try to kind of get organized real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna just drop my ruler. Okay, so Let's go with, um, uh, what I like to do is I like to start with a sampler sheet and before I break into any of these, um, in case I don't end up using them, I kind of find that um, if I wanted to sell them or, or give them away, it just looks nicer to have a full sheet of stickers. Um, and so let's try these first. And I always use the patterned ones before I use the solid ones because um, I can make the solid ones work in other kits a lot easier than I can the patterned ones. And so let's just start right up here and I'm gonna just say, um, tennis camp. And I realize my desk is shaking and that bothers me and I need to figure out 
if I can make it a little bit more sturdy. And this is from nine to three daily. Um, I meant to put 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick before I lay it down. And so this is another way. Let's see how we can use the thin washi to mark all the way across the week. Um, this is yellow and I kind of thought it would be cute to use the same yellow color. So we'll use, I think this is thinner, slightly thinner, but is this one? Yeah, and this is wider, okay. So I'm gonna use this one just because it's thinner. Um, and I'm going to, since the box is gonna go in Tuesday, I'm going to place the washi here. Whoops. I'm gonna cut and then let's do it just slightly wider. And then I'll take this one and I'm gonna go from here. This is hard to do without getting my face up in it and I don't wanna get the back of my head on camera. Um, and okay, and then we'll just go to the end of Friday right there. And I'm just gonna stick this washi over here. Now, where did my box go? So, we've got tennis camp, and I'm just gonna put it up here at the top because I don't need, I don't have anything else going on earlier than that, and I'm gonna need to know, you know, it's early. So, there we go for that. Um, we don't have any plans for Monday. It's a holiday, um, work the night before is the night when anything is happening as far as like fireworks and stuff. So I don't even think I have anything to put in there. Um, well, maybe that's a good spot to use the full box. Let's see if there's any icons that will jog my memory. I mean, we do have trash day, which there is a trash day um, script here. But yeah, I don't really have anything. Um, oh, I have a video going up. So that's the other thing. I really like using these flags um, and there's three of them, so it's perfect. I like using these flags for my YouTube videos. Um, and so we can do that. It's too bad they're all so yellow. I should have thought of that ahead of time um, because the flags on here are also yellow. So I'm not gonna be able to get away with that. Um, maybe we can just use these for a change. Um, oh, and these are yellow on here too. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I can use these. I like to break up the color. So I'm gonna use these and I need to put my icons on first. Um, so let me get, if I even have them in here. Um, if I have any YouTube icons left and I don't, that they would have been right there. So I need to get them out of um, my book here. And I have a little tab that says social. And here we go. And um, we'll just use these last three yellow ones because they match. And we're gonna put I should use my tweezers, huh? Okay. And um, so we've got this plan with me that you're watching. Um, and let's see what else I have coming up. Um, a review and a week at a glance video. And then, so the week at a glance video, I'm gonna talk about the different stickers that I like to use for the week at a glance and some of the new formats that a lot of these sticker shops are coming out with. I have purchased a, a handful to try out and just to talk about. 
So let's put these down. And then I also want to get my, um, oh, I just smeared that. I always do that. I always forget not to, um, you know, smear all that. <laughs> okay, um, we need to remember to pay for our tennis camp, and I was hoping there was like a little stack of money here or something, but there's not, so. Um, I wanna use like these. Um, these are like appointment labels. I wanna use them like check boxes. I would, they did that this week, um, and I liked that. Um, so I'm gonna need six, um, I like to do, I like to share the video and then I need to do the comments, but then I also want to use one here for um, camp. So I'm gonna use, yeah. So let me um, put, I'm gonna fill out comments. I wonder if I, I press down pretty hard when I write, and I think that's what's making the table kind of shake a little bit. But I'm like, I'm left-handed, and I learned early that if I like really press down, then it helps me control it a little better, and it helps my handwriting look a little better. This would be um, something good to get a custom script of, because I write comments and share video three times every week, and I feel like that would be a good opportunity to, um, you know, to get, um, to, for convenience, you know? All right. And the comments I like to put at the bottom just because it's something I usually try to do towards the end of the day since that's when um, it kind of gives people time to watch and then respond. And then I can do it all, um, the bulk of it at once. Okay, so those are there, and now I'm going to use one of the orange ones to say, um, to pay. Um, why don't I just put the amount? <laughs> and then I'll just put it right here under tennis camp, and I'm going to know what that means. I don't need to write a whole paragraph in there. <laughs> All right. So, um, we also have, what else did I say? Um, Disney Plus, which um, I have these functionals from Sweet Sticker Bliss for um, my Disney Plus. That's the only bill that I really track because it comes out of my stuff only, um, just because that's when I signed up for it. I'm going to put it up here because doesn't happen at a certain time or anything yeah so <clears throat> that's really the only bill that I we have another system for budgeting and it doesn't need to go in my planner but that does just because it comes out of my personal stuff so um, let's go with trash day on Thursday I actually we have it on Monday and Thursday there's no trash on Monday because it's a holiday and I only get one trash day script on here and I don't have any other ones and so I usually put that on Thursday because that's also recycle day um, and I kind of find that that is um, it, it's like um, I don't know if I don't get the recycle out, we only get that once a week. But if I if I don't get the trash out, I've got another shot before it gets too bad. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so trash day can go there. And I'm not gonna put the weekend banner on. I've decided I'm not really, I don't really care about the weekend banner. I'm not really sure. It doesn't do anything for me. 
So we have these little this little comment box and that would be perfect for these comments, but I only have one. And so I do have some from Planner Kate that I can use. Um, right here. And I'm gonna see if there's a good one that matches these. These match pretty well. This like teal blue color matches. The yellow would be okay and the pink here would be okay. So let's go with the blue um, just for fun. I don't always use these but I would like to start using up my stickers so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them here. Oh I don't need this anymore. Okay so oh this isn't gonna fit is it? <laughs> It's a little crooked, but you know what? It works. I'm using the sticker. I think that's better than not using it, right? All right. So, got that. And what else? We want to do um, that there is a race. And my phone is blowing up. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can turn it on silent since I forgot. Okay. Um, let's do, um, this is the Austrian Grand Prix, yeah, so I want to do, um, we'll use, I don't even know what I want to do, I need to know what time it starts, because it's different, it's all over the world, right, so I have on my, um, Google Calendar what time it starts for my, my time zone, and that's 8 a.m., Oh, there's sprints too. Wait, so qualifying is on Friday? Hmm. That can't be right. Because there's another practice on Saturday. That can't be right. I'm going to have to wait and look. What did I put? Oh, you know what I have? I have these great stickers from... Uh, Surrey May. Um, I wrote that in. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on those. Um, and I will add them in and show like a final picture on Instagram or something. But I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll write them on these orange ones because they're a little bit bigger, or I might use this, um, these boxes here. So what did I do last week? So I, I like to add the days that I want to film and edit and upload, which I like to do those on Fridays. So um, that's where I just use these scripts. So let's get those down. And what color box for Friday? Let's do the pink one. No, let's do this orange. We haven't done this yet. Um, actually, since that is like a longer, I like to do filming, editing, and uploading that day. Um, then, okay, so full box for that. I also, let's just put it right in the middle of the day. I also, um, I am going to use these for filming, um, we'll do Tuesday and Wednesday this week since Monday is a holiday and I don't want to, you know, you know what I should do? I should put my YouTube stuff sticker on, I need that, don't close that. I should move all this stuff down. use this YouTube stuff sticker because that's what it is, it's YouTube stuff. Okay, so I want to do on Tuesday, we can use this one, and then on Wednesday we can use this one.
I'll do an orange one. Okay. So we'll do filming on Tuesday. And I'm going to do like later in the day for that one. And then edit and upload. I will go ahead and just put, let's just match right here. And that, I'm going to try to film a bunch of stuff, like short videos, like back to back, and then I'll edit them and stuff um, the next day. Um, let me check one more thing on my phone. I am going to look at just the overall week and make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, laundry, cleaning, that kind of stuff. There's um, something at the library on Wednesday that might be fun to do, and I'm not going to write what it is just because, I don't know, it would be easy to look up, and this is, it's like, I don't really want, you know, I'm going with my kid. I don't, I don't really need to, like, put on here what I'm doing with my kid that day, but um, something there, and then... Yeah, we could just write library there. It's crooked. <laughs> okay. Oh, and our library books are due on the seventh, so that's good. I wish I had a library books um, script, but I don't. So I'm just gonna say Library, and then return books. And I don't have any more book icons either. Um, I don't, I normally pl like place things here in my, um, my weekend thing, like lists, and I don't really use this as a, um, where did my little checklist? I had a little tiny checklist deal. Here it is. And I don't know which one of these is the one that's sized for the hourly. I think it's this one. I think this is the daily duo. Okay, so we're gonna put um, a cleaning checklist over here. I like to do that on Sunday. Um, it's not all for doing on Sunday. It's really, um, it's stuff that I want to get done throughout the week. And um, I have a script for that. Let's find it. There's a script that says to clean. Here, to clean. Um, I could use the clean house, actually. Let me do that just because it comes with the kit, so it matches the scripts. Um, and let's do one of these fun scalloped boxes. Um, and I'm just gonna put it here. And then I also do, um, I, need to, I need to figure out when I'm going to the grocery store. Um, I don't know, I need, I still need to, today is usually the day that I, um, that I figure out the food situation, but it's a little bit different. Um, if you've seen my uh, one of my Franken planning or notes pages videos or something like that, I have. Um, let's do this. I have where I showed you my monthly menu plan, um, and that's in a different planner, so I can't show you now, but. I was gonna, I planned the whole month for, or the, the menu for the whole month, um, and it actually has already changed. Um, uh, it's a long story, but I'm, I need to use up a bunch of food that we have, and so um, I kind of changed up. And so I don't know exactly um, when I need to go to the store. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put the grocery trip script. Um, I'm gonna put it on one of these um, half boxes. Um, and then I can write in what the grocery trip is going to be and then I'm going to put that I'm going to put that on Tuesday um, 
before filming and you can tell that I didn't plan this out enough because this matches this and these blues match, but that's okay. It still looks good, right? Okay. Um, and now what do we have as far as, there's a little grocery bag and of course that's blue too. <laughs> so we use that. Um, there's a washing machine I can put by the laundry and I was gonna use that as a checkbox, but now I'm just putting the icon there. Um, and then planner time, or it's like a little planning thing. Oh, we have a planner time script. Um, okay, so let's put those on. Planner time is usually Friday. So let's do, because I do my plan with me on Friday. <laughs> so makes sense, right? planner time and um, I still need to fill that in and then I do a meal prep um, so I do have a script for meal prep that we will throw on this pattern box and I am gonna put that up here just to break it up and then we'll do another checklist um, Let's move this icon. I'm trying to cover up the times as much as I can so I don't, the M's stick out. I mean, that's good enough. And then we can put this back here. Um, okay, sidebar. The sidebar is, um, we're gonna do one here. I'm just going to center it and we're going to put, does this match up? I don't know if this matches up. Oh, it does. Okay. Um, and then we'll just do the next one too. I don't know if I'm going to need. This next one. Um, and then where, where's my sheet with the script? So we've got this week. There's like a little to do. And then actually we can move this down um, and I'll use a script on that for next week. Um, this next week. And then let me look and see what is happening next week and I will put the important things on here. Um, and then we will use habit trackers. Um, what did I say? We want to walk, read, and cook as our habits for July. If you watched my July plan with me, um, we did this dashboard here and I put this um, thing here and walk, read, and cook. So those are things that we can try to do. Um, I actually have a script for walk, but I don't have one for reading or cooking. <laughs> I'm going to do read and then 30 minutes and then cook at home. I'm um, blowing on it so I don't do it and um, so I don't smear it and then we'll do the little shoe icon for the walk just to take up some space. So now we can put those on our sidebar. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And I don't have any meals to put in, so I could, I could put the knife and fork on each spot where I would put the meals um, and then fill it in later. I think that will work. And then, okay, so then next week, the 
is not straight. We need to get some other colors in the sidebar, don't we? So the next week, um, let's see what is supposed to be happening next week. Um, I have a lash appointment and the TPC sale. Okay. Um, and we can use either the asterisks or the hearts. And I think I'm going to go with the asterisks because I have so many of them in my reusable already. And I don't have a whole lot of... Um, Hearts. Oh, and there were more hearts here I could have used. Um, do I have, this is going to be my last script for lash appointment. This is the last one. Um, and then I should have some TPC sales scripts. Um, let's just... Um, do I have the TPC? That's gonna, if I have that, it's back here. It would have been with this. Um, here. Oh, you know what? That's here. TPC sale. I started looking for lash appointment. <laughs> But I don't have any more of those. Um, so I normally do like a, a work thing and then I put the hours I work here. Um, but I'm not planning on working this week. So I probably won't have any. I might, um, if, if anything's going on and I need to, I can just use the blank spaces and make lists um, because I have plenty of blank spaces. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put down a couple more asterisks asterisks here in the um, sidebar in case I need to add anything and I think oh no I have one more thing one more important thing that I need to add on Tuesday and that is my PR post for Orange Umbrella Co. and we have a lot of blue going on so we can break that up and I'm going to use this green one um, and I'm just going to put it like here just in case I need to use that space for dinners and listing and what I do is we don't have because this is a new format we don't have the little posty notes anymore but I have a bunch in here and what I like to do is Put the little post-it note um, we can use this like greenish color um, and then I have scripts that say post somewhere post it fits it's fun I like it okay and I'm gonna put the little, the little computer there. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. I have this deco box, but I think I might keep that for another time to use because I have so many stickers left. Um, and then I also have this deco, but you see I have tons of stickers, so I'm gonna be able to get many more uses out of this kit. Um, is there anything I want to put on here? Um, you know, I don't think so, and I'm going to just leave it. Um, I normally um, write these same things out for my cleaning, but um, I also am just going to wait on that because this has been long enough, um, and I think that's it. I mean, you get the gist of it. I can add meals here when I know... Um, let's do that actually real quick. I know I know I said I was done. I said I was done, but let's add a spot for the meals um, We normally eat around five, but I'm gonna put them on six because 
that way it, it kind of breaks up the space a little bit and it doesn't really matter. Um, so if these were like gray forks and knives, I would have left them and just used them another time, but I want to use them up now because they're green. And the last knife and fork. Um, we've got some stuff left that I don't need for now. And it looks like that is the end of this plan with me. So, okay, so that's it for me. Um, I am gonna fill out some of these things and you can see those on my Instagram. I'll put my handle right here so you can go follow me there. Um, I hope that my discussion of finding your style using stickers was a little bit helpful. Sampler sheets are just really great and the a la carte add-ons from some shops make it so easy to customize your layout even if the stickers aren't made for your specific planner. Um, don't forget you can save them, sell them, swap them, or send them. Um, if any of these tips resonated with you or if you want to add to the list, be sure to leave a comment. Um, if you enjoyed the video, giving it a like helps me out and I would be honored if you liked this video enough to subscribe. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!